Yes, uh, sorry for that uh, small technical hitch right there. My name is Barry Bosses. Uh, it's Barry Moore on social media, and you know what it is. It's time for Strength of a Woman on Queen's Wednesday on Why in the Morning. Uh, so we try to highlight stories of queens who are doing amazing stuff uh, for the society or for themselves. So if you know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody, you can hit them up or you can tell them to hit us up uh, so we can share their stories as well. Our social media handles are, uh, are white 54 channel on Twitter, white 54 underscore channel on Instagram, and white 54 on Facebook. My strength of a woman of the day goes by the name Eunice Njoki, and uh, she's an entrepreneur, she's a philanthropist, and she's the founder of Maktaba Mashinani Foundation. Asante sana bari. All right. Uh, your camera is number four right there. All right. You can just uh, say hi to the people and just introduce yourself briefly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, people. My name is Yonis Njoki, mm -hmm. and I lead the Maktaba Machinani team. Uh -huh. We've been doing libraries for the rural communities in Kenya, mm -hmm. and uh, we continue to do this for the benefit of the general community and mm -hmm. mostly the children. All right. Yeah. Oh, they brought the... The, the arts right on time. Oh, As you nice. can see, Strength yes. of Woman is the name of the, <laughs> the other segment right now. It's a strong now. art, yes. <laughs> it's a strong art right now. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, I like it. I like it. Shout out to Masai mm -hmm. and KTA for that one. All anyway, right. mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to get into, to take you back to your childhood. Uh -huh. uh, did you grow up in an urban setting or a rural area? Uh, I grew up in Nairobi, Barry. Uh -huh. I grew up in a, a place called Njiru. It's uh -huh. not very far from here. I guess I know the place. Yes. Uh -huh. So, but we were a very humble family. Uh -huh. My parents uh, did business here and there, so mm -hmm. we, 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 we weren't rich. We weren't poor, we never slept hungry, but we were not rich. We just made it through life. Mm -hmm. And uh, my academic journey was very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. um, getting from primary school to high school. I actually didn't go through high school the normal way, the 844 system. Mm -hmm. I just found my way in a Gumbaru school. Mm -hmm. And that is why the Maktawa Machinani project is a very personal project to me. Uh -huh. When you say you didn't go to high school the normal way, what, what does that mean? Uh, what it means is uh -huh. that uh, after my primary school, my parents couldn't afford to take me to high school. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I was out, uh, they, they, they were done. For them, mm -hmm. they were done because they couldn't afford it. Mm -hmm. So I started doing manual jobs. I was actually a house help mm -hmm. for like one and a half years. How old were you? Uh, I was a teenager. When you were a house help? Yes, I was wow. a teenager. So, but the was whole your boss treating you? Uh? Oh, I, they they were like family to me. Uh -huh. They were really really good to me. Mm -hmm. They are still my friends to date. Mm -hmm. um, so I was there for one and a half year. But the whole point of doing that was mm -hmm. to save and go back to and go to high school. I'm trying to imagine myself immediately after high school, um, primary school, doing a job and saving up to go back to school. Uh, uh, school was always forced on me for some reason <laughs> as a kid. Uh, uh -huh. But where did you get this passion uh, for education from? Uh, first of all, I was a very bright kid mm -hmm. in school. But I you don't very say. Well. The good thing is you don't say. <laughs> I don't, I don't say. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, so uh -huh. I really wanted to be in school. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be a doctor, a medical doctor. Mm -hmm. uh, but honestly, I couldn't handle it. Said, uh -huh. uh, even when I got now the opportunity to do mm -hmm. that, I couldn't. I know I don't have the heart to handle blood. Med, exactly, uh -huh. blood. Uh -huh. So uh, I switched to ICT mm -hmm. and did uh, computer technology in school. Mm -hmm. Yes. So from being a, a house up, going back to high school, mm -hmm. graduating high school, mm -hmm. uh, getting a good, good enough grade to go to campus to study ICT. Mm -hmm. That is a struggle right there. Yeah, so what would happen uh -huh. when I was a house help? Uh, I wouldn't do a lot of television like most house helps uh -huh. do. Then this family had, had had some high schoolers in the house, uh -huh. so I would use their books to read. I uh -huh. used to read on my own. I would read anything that I would come across. Mm -hmm. So then it got to a point I realized I would never save enough mm -hmm. to put on a uniform mm -hmm. and go to school in the morning mm -hmm. and leave school in the evening and still be able to pay my bills. Mm -hmm. So I quit, I quit the job after some time, mm -hmm. and I started doing other manual work. Mm -hmm. I weighed on tables. Mm -hmm. I, I worked some, some manual jobs. Mm -hmm. And then I found uh, we, the, the adult education uh, classes mm -hmm. uh, in somewhere in Thika. Mm -hmm. So I enrolled in that. Mm -hmm. So I used to do at least three hours mm -hmm. of Were you paying class. for this? Yes, I was paying for that. So mm -hmm. it was easier. I would go to work throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Then uh, by that time, I was working 
uh, in a in a small bookshop mm -hmm. in Juja. Mm -hmm. So Juja Juja has been home for a long time. So uh -huh. hi people from Juja. <laughs> <laughs> what about Juja? All yes. right. So uh, uh -huh. you're working in a bookshop. So this gives you access to books as well. Actually, they were just exercise books. Uh -huh. It wasn't a bookshop for textbooks and mm -hmm. stuff like that. It was just it was it was a bookshop for exercise books mm -hmm. and printing services and stuff like that. How old are your classmates at this time? Oh, they were old people. <laughs> All right, you're uh, the they, youngest. Yes. Class. Yes. Yes, but, but it was so that. fun. It was uh -huh. so fun. It was really, really fun. Uh, uh -huh. I, do, I was always top of the class, uh -huh. helping them with their homeworks. Uh -huh. You know, sometimes it's not that they can't read. Uh -huh. It's just that they can't see. Oh. Age, age. <laughs> age is caught up with them. Yes, yes. All right. So uh, I'm trying to imagine uh, you're in a class with no competition whatsoever. Yeah. How do you know? How did you manage to understand uh the level you are at because when there's no competition you can never gauge yourself or you can never gauge yourself fairly for lack of a better word oh well you mm. don't gauge yourself with who is sitting next to you in uh -huh. that kind of a uh, situation uh -huh. you gauge yourself with the results you get uh -huh. at, at, the t at the end of your test uh -huh. so that was quite promising mm -hmm. and at the end of it i got a b minus mm -hmm. and that is how i got into campus wow yeah so uh, but i did that for mm -hmm. i was in those classes for about two years. All right. Yeah. So, so this actually made you realize something mm -hmm. as a grown up. Yeah. Uh, is this the drive? Is this what drove you to uh, to start up uh, Maktaba Machine? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So now, mm -hmm. being that I was, I grew up in Nairobi, mm -hmm. um, there was a problem accessing books because I really wanted to read. Mm -hmm. So what I would get, you know, is the few books that I would get in the house. Mm -hmm. And when I was working as a house help, mm -hmm. is the books that those kids would leave behind mm -hmm. when they go, when they go back to school. Mm -hmm. There were no libraries. There was there was really no access to it. And these are very exposed uh, area. Mm -hmm. It's a very exposed community. Mm -hmm. It's not like Mashinani where you have to, you know, walk a long distance exactly. to access this, this, even a school. This, huh? this is a very exposed community. Mm -hmm. So with time, I started. I have relatives in Mashambani. Mm -hmm. And uh, I started realizing, you know, it's a struggle. It's a serious mm -hmm. struggle. This could there. happen to you in Nairobi. So what yes. about what about uh -huh, out there? The village, yeah. Exactly. Uh -huh. So and then I have my my, my awesome grandmother uh -huh. who is raising some cousins. Uh -huh. So sometimes we we'll talk, and and she would mention, you know, your cousins need this and that and that. And then I would wonder, fine. At least in our family, we have people who can provide for these cousins. Uh -huh. What about the next family? You know, there are some families in in uh, in in the rural communities. Uh -huh. Where you were born there, you grew up there, you got uh -huh. you go you go you go to school there, you get married there, uh -huh. and you bring up your, your, your family there. there. As in everything is so just there. So there's no network outside that uh, yes, place. You yes, all, they, uh -huh. they don't have a relative in Nairobi uh -huh. or outside that place that uh -huh. can help them. You know, people assume that Nairobi there's money, there's uh -huh. money in Nairobi uh -huh. and stuff like that. Uh -huh. So if you have a relative in Nairobi, <laughs> <laughs> which is not always it the case. is not. Hey, Shambala <laughs> So, uh, uh, so I kept wondering. Uh -huh. Uh, at least for my cousins, they have me. Uh -huh. They have my my um, relatives, my other uh -huh. relatives in Nairobi. Uh -huh. But what about the next family that has no one? Mm -hmm. What happens to them? So why not give each of these kids mm -hmm. the same opportunity to access books? Maktaba Mashinani is birth or oh, was birthed in 2018. Yes. All right. So maybe you can tell us uh, what what you're into. What is the structure? What uh, what what do you guys do uh, as Maktaba Machinani? Uh, the goal of Maktaba Machinani is mm -hmm. to to build and establish uh, modern libraries for mm -hmm. the rural communities. Mm -hmm. However, there are communities that are in so much need mm -hmm. uh, that they can't wait for a library. Mm -hmm. So we do book donations. Mm -hmm. We've been doing a lot of book donations and helping. Uh, schools mm -hmm. have their own small libraries mm -hmm. in one way or another. Mm -hmm. So last year, 2019, in mm -hmm. 2018, we so much concentrated on having structures in the organization, mm -hmm. doing uh, feasibility studies, mm -hmm. knowing where the need is, what we can do best. Mm -hmm. So 2019, we were out there now doing the work. Mm -hmm. So we helped 165 schools establish mm -hmm. their own small libraries. Mm -hmm. and then In different countries different counties uh -huh. different counties in kenya mm -hmm. uh, and then we established one community library in transmara mm -hmm. yes all right so uh books have been donated uh li libraries have been established and uh there's something i'd like to 
I'd like to know, you mentioned modern. Your goal is to establish modern libraries for the rural communities. Uh, define modern in this case. Uh, modern, mm -hmm. we don't just want to have rooms with shelves and books. Mm -hmm. We realize that uh, in Mashinani, mm -hmm. people are not exposed to technology mm -hmm. or even basic computer skills. One computer is shared by 150 students, mm -hmm. or rather, uh, yeah, in a good school, mm -hmm. 150 students. Mm -hmm. Most teachers have never had an interaction with computers. Mm -hmm. They are untrained teachers. They've never had interaction with computers, mm -hmm. so they can't even teach even if you give them the computer. And we want to appreciate the government mm -hmm. for the computer projects. Mm -hmm. But you'll find that in some of these counties, those, those uh, laptops mm -hmm. can't really be used because mm -hmm. even the teacher doesn't have the know-how. There's no skill. Exactly, there is uh -huh. no skill. So it's a, it's, to, some, to some areas, it's a half-baked project. Uh -huh. Yes. So we can do better. We can do better. All so right. ma the, 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 the whole point is to, have, uh, to introduce these communities mm -hmm. to the world out here, to computer skills, mm -hmm. uh, to technology, mm -hmm. to basic. We've partnered with some organization who will help us introduce uh, basic programming mm -hmm. for kids. Mm -hmm. There are some simple programming languages. Mm -hmm. So these will help kids uh, come up with things like small games mm -hmm. they can use mm -hmm. and even you know put on uh, uh, app stores. Uh -huh. Yes. So programming is, is the future, actually. It uh, is. Uh, or oh, ICT is the future of the world right now. It is. It's the current and the future. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, kids need an opportunity in this for fact. Yes. All right. So. Um, Modern libraries, uh, I'd like to take you back to 2018 when you were doing the feasibility studies. Mm -hmm. All right, so you traveled across counties. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, you can mention about a few count counties that you managed to visit while doing this study. Okay, we've been uh, to Meru, mm -hmm. we've been to Nyandarwa, mm -hmm. we've done a lot of work in Nyandarwa, mm -hmm. thanks to the national government and the county government there. Mm -hmm. We've been to Kisumu, we've been to Vihiga, Kisi, mm -hmm. we've also done some work in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. There are some places in Nairobi that are so much affected. Mm -hmm. we We've done some work, uh, and we have also gone to Malindi. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Uh, is there any county I want to ask about uh, a county that is doing bad? Because I know uh, a lot of counties there are doing bad need. when it comes yes, to there education. Is a need out there. Do you think there's a county that you visited that is that is doing good? Uh, that you can say, all right, these people don't need help. No, I wouldn't confidently say that. Mm -hmm. There is so much to be done out there, especially in in education. Mm -hmm. um, the books we give mm -hmm. are complementary books. Mm -hmm. The government is doing a good job, you know, giving out uh, the syllabus books that are required. Mm -hmm. What we give are syllabus books that complement what the government is giving. Mm -hmm. But there is still a lot of need. Mm -hmm. I know the government is, is trying to tackle the whole issue of uh, book share, uh, the book share ratio, because mm -hmm. uh, you find in some situations, uh, schools have been having a book share ratio of one to nine, mm -hmm. and the government is trying to counter that, and we appreciate that very much. But there is no single county that has um, a good, perfect system mm -hmm. academically. They all need improvement, and um, it's a good thing that we have the, 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 the current uh, system. Mm -hmm. uh, we hope that it improves the, the lives of children. Mm -hmm. um, there is a big need for education and better structures, mm -hmm. and we hope the ministry keeps up a good work. I like. So uh, we have public schools. I've been to public schools that are really good. Mm -hmm. uh, the book share ratio is amazing. Mm -hmm. Every kid has a desk. Mm -hmm. uh, the teacher to student ratio is good. I've been to very good public schools and most of them happen to be in urban areas. Mm -hmm. All right, so what is, what is the difference? Since we are, they're all public schools, mm -hmm. why is this one good and why is this one bad? What are some of the circumstances that lead to certain public schools not having the, re the required resources? Uh, first of all, mm -hmm. my own opinion is mm -hmm. that um, people need to know that they have a voice. Mm -hmm. And most Machinani people mm -hmm. don't know they have a voice. They have rights to mm -hmm. good education, so they never demand for it. Mm -hmm. But there are places uh, where people can go and complain mm -hmm. that there is no way my kid will be sitting mm -hmm. on a stone and I'm mm -hmm. paying taxes. But then there are other areas, like uh, there have been photos circulating on the internet of mm -hmm. kids, little kids, sitting on bricks. Mm -hmm. With no books, just with, listening with, to a teacher. Exactly, just uh -huh. listening to a teacher. And that is very sad. Mm -hmm. And this kid will go home to a parent mm -hmm. who feels like the government is already doing them a favor by giving them those bricks to sit on. So okay. people need to understand. So awareness they have is voice. number one. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, they need, and also want to 
uh, call on the leaders from uh -huh. different parts the, of this country. Mm -hmm. Let the government work together. The county government is not in competition with the, with the, with the national government because mm -hmm. when they compete, the Wenchiko suffers. Uh -huh. So let them come together mm -hmm. and work for them, for mm -hmm. the people who brought them to these offices. So there should be synchrony. Uh, the yes. national government and the county governments should be working together exactly. when it comes to bettering education. Yes. What about uh, the non-profit organizations? Do you think that they're, they're given uh, enough or good space uh, to contribute uh, to this? Or play their role. There in this. has there has been there has been good work from mm -hmm. non-governmental organizations. We mm -hmm. don't want to deny that. Mm -hmm. However, there is still so much more to be done. Mm -hmm. So these are opportunities that, the, especially the county governments, mm -hmm. can open up for investors to come in and invest in their counties, mm -hmm. for investors to come in and, and invest in some dockets, mm -hmm. uh, specific dockets. Mm -hmm. That is for the county governments to map out. Mm -hmm. However. Uh, we want to appreciate the organizations like us, like Maktabo Mashinani, mm -hmm. who are going out there, just helping kids, whether, you know, people are, are, are helping, or rather some government organizations are helping or not. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, so uh, I'd like to know, uh, when it comes to projects, like these ones, uh, most of the times it's a it's a one-time project. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say it's a donation of books. It's going to be a one-time project. Then you forget it. But when it comes to what you're trying to do, there's a lot of uh, creating and maintenance yes. because you have continuity. to go back. Yeah, yes. continuity. So yes. how how do you manage to do all this? Uh, first of all, let me mm -hmm. give a scenario of of the two cases. Mm -hmm. We have. Like now we've been preparing for an event, mm -hmm. for a donation, a huge donation event. Mm -hmm. We've been calling it Love for Nakuru. Mm -hmm. uh, we are donating books to 56 schools mm -hmm. in Nakuru County mm -hmm. from all over Nakuru. Now on this, this is a donation event. So we've worked with different organizations, some mm -hmm. of them non-governmental, mm -hmm. like the Lions Club, mm -hmm. where they come and mm -hmm. they help. You know, as much as we are donating books, mm -hmm. they'll come and help with a free eye checkup. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, you know, Aqua Mist Water, they'll mm -hmm. come and say... A book is only as good as yeah, exactly, <laughs> your eyesight. Yeah. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. We, it, we right? will have other people who come and say, we will uh -huh. assist with, with right. this particular thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, like water for the event, who we will, the, we have people that we are working with. Uh -huh. So there's, there are a lot of partnerships. Yes. And you're inviting more partnerships. We are inviting more partnerships. All right. But we can't, we can't do this alone. Uh, you can yes. do this alone for sure. We cannot do this. All right. Alone. I'll give you an opportunity to invite partners okay. uh, towards the end. But I'm interested in this event that you have on Saturday, okay. uh, which is a very good cause right there. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can share it with the people right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so this Saturday we are partnering with Miss Africa Elite. Mm -hmm. to take books to kids with cancer mm -hmm. uh, in the cancer wards of uh, Kenyatta National Hospital. Um, sometimes kids are taken there and they're there for a very long time. Uh, and for this very long time, they don't ac have access to books mm -hmm. and reading materials. So Maktaba Mashinani is coming in to help them, you know, uh, work around having books, drawing uh, mm -hmm books and stuff like that. Uh -huh. Just something that will keep them engaged when they are still uh -huh. there. And uh, open their minds as yes. well. Uh -huh. Yes, so in the, in the, in the, we are still planning about it. Mm -hmm. It will happen on, on Saturday from uh -huh. 10 a.m. Uh -huh. we, we, need, we need help with the event. We still need help with the event. So we, we need little things, like even a cake, if you can, if you can bake a cake, mm -hmm. uh, an eggless cake, that uh -huh. is, because that is friendly for kids with cancer, uh -huh. uh, doctor's recommendation. All right, eggless uh, yeah. cakes are good for kids with cancer. Yes, 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 yes. All right, that is never what knew is that. I learned a lot on <laughs> why in the morning. Thank you very much for the information right there. Uh -huh. All right, so this is the poster for La Love for Nakuru. This is a different function altogether this, 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 from the Saturday one. Yes, yes. Maybe we can finish on the Saturday one, okay. and then we'll get into this. All right. All right, so Kenyatta National Hospital, what yes. time is this? Uh, it is at 10 a.m. Uh -huh. uh, we have other organizations that are coming on board mm -hmm. to provide different things. But uh, it's uh, an initiative that has been organized by uh, uh, the Miss Africa Elite. All right. Together with the yeah. Maktaba Mashinani Foundation. Mm -hmm. Kenyatta yeah. National Hospital is a hospital. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> from, from the title, yes. from def by definition. Yes. You don't just walk into Kenyatta. Yes. So how can people get to be part of this thing that you're um, doing? One, we are fundraising for it. Mm -hmm. So you can donate to, you can donate anything, financial uh, donation. Mm -hmm. To eight nine one 
300, mm -hmm. and the account name is Maktaba. All right. Uh, yes, and all the funds will be directed towards that. Project. Just uh, rewind back, uh, rewind and come back again, Selector, with okay. that one. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, the pay bill number for supporting us uh -huh. is 891. Three zero zero. Mm -hmm. That is the pay bill number, and the account name is Maktaba. All right. What yes. if we have cakes, clothes, uh, fruits, uh, nyanya, <laughs> <laughs> apples? No, especially uh, how, what do we do uh, when it gets to that? Because we need, we need, we need cakes. We need um, a few other things. We need uh -huh. uh, refreshments uh -huh. for the kids and mm -hmm. little things to chew on. Mm -hmm. If you have anything, you can donate something that needs to be picked up. Mm -hmm. You can give us a call. You mm -hmm. can call us on uh, 07 mm -hmm. uh, 10 15 